inside haunted houses of the British royal family, even Queen Camilla says, I don't want to come back. Queen Elizabeth II, King Charles III and Queen Camilla reportedly had encounters with spooky spirits behind palace doors. The British royal family doesn't need to visit a haunted house this Halloween, chances are they're living in one. Hello! Magazines, a right royal podcast, recently sat down with historians and a paranormal expert to learn more about infamous palace hauntings from over the years. With centuries of history behind castle walls, it's no secret that many royals have had encounters with neighbors from the beyond. King Charles's grandmother, the Queen Mother, grew up in one of the most haunted venues in Scotland, Glamis Castle, Kinsey Schofield, host of the To D for Daily podcast, told Fox News Digital. It is believed that multiple ghosts haunt the hallways of Glamis. Author Sir Walter Scott once wrote of his time alone at the castle, and William Shakespeare even used Glamis Castle as an inspiration for Macbeth. The Queen Mother had several ghost encounters at Glamis, Schofield shared. One of the ghosts she spoke of was a young male servant. They believe he was there around the 18th century. Despite being mistreated throughout his time there, he is described as mischievous and funny. Witnesses say he trips people outside the Queen Mother's bedroom. He's also suspected of tugging at bedsheets in the middle of the night. Glamis is home to numerous spirits, including a butler who allegedly hanged himself and the woman without a tongue who walks on the grounds pointing at her bloody disfigured mouth, as well as the Grey Lady Ghost, or Janet Douglas, who was burned at the stake for witchcraft in 1537. Alexander Lindsay, 4th Earl of Crawford, is allegedly a more sinister spirit who is heard screaming on the grounds, Schofield said. And Thomas Bowes Lyon, known as the Shunned Royal or the Monster of Glamis, for his deformed appearance, is also allegedly seen walking the grounds. King Charles's mother and aunt also weren't strangers to ghosts. Windsor Castle, the preferred residence for royal weddings, is said to be haunted by numerous ghosts, including King Henry VIII and King George III, as well as a grenadier guard who shot himself. Both the late Princess Margaret and Queen Elizabeth II reported apparitions, witnessing paranormal activity there of their late ancestor Queen Elizabeth I, British royals expert Hilary Fordwich told Fox News Digital. According to the podcast, both women saw the daughter of King Henry VIII, who died in 1603, in the palace library. A lieutenant of the Grenadier Guards was also at the library one time when he saw the figure and immediately recognized it. He got up and followed it as she walked through the wall and vanished. According to reports, the Queen Mother has also been seen roaming the library and the sounds of her heels can be heard. Witnesses say that they have both seen and heard the spirit of King Henry VIII limping and crying out in pain over his leg throughout Windsor, said Schofield. Witnesses also claim to see his wife and Bullen around the Windsor grounds in phantom form. They say and can be seen standing at the window in the Dean's Cloister at Windsor Castle. Another story claims that Anne Bullen can be seen running down the castle corridor screaming, clutching her head. The mother of Queen Elizabeth I was beheaded in 1536. Hampton Court Palace in England is also known for its peculiar activity. The most prevalent of restless royal ghosts, not surprisingly, are those of Henry VIII's wives, Ford which explained. Jane Seymour, mother of his only son Edward, has been reported carrying a lighted taper walking along the silver stick gallery at Hampton Court. Catherine Howard, beheaded for adultery in 1542, has been both seen and heard by many screaming for mercy from Henry, in the haunted gallery of Hampton Court, as she reportedly ran to try to meet with him as he prayed in the nearby chapel. Dumfries House, an 18th-century Scottish property, has proven to be the stuff of nightmares for Charles's wife, Queen Camilla. In the ITV documentary, The Real Camilla, the royal described how Charles restored the rundown property before it was open to the public in 2008. She described the heritage building as eerie. There was definitely a ghost, without a shadow of a doubt, said the 76-year-old. I walked up the steps, got into the hall and I thought, I can't go any further. I literally froze. I remember thinking I don't want to come back, and I didn't for years. It's been said that Camilla still refuses to set foot on the property. The podcast also revealed that Charles had a scary encounter at Sandringham. It was at the royal residence when the king, 74, and a footman found themselves being followed by a ghostly apparition. And Charles apparently can't escape the ghosts at Buckingham Palace, the monarch's London.